Ready? Well, I'm ready, yeah. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hi there. Um, yep, yeah, following our post we put out yesterday about uh, Ask Us Anything, we've had a few questions uh, that come through. Um, so we'll just go through them and give you our uh, honest answers. Really? Yeah, go right. it, Mark. Okay. What we got? What we got? So, Phil Clark said, Would you rather have a thumb for a penis or a penis for thumbs? <laughs> well, I was, Cheers, Phil. I was thinking about this. Um, uh, me and Phil used to have lots of these kind of questions when we used to work together. We used to spend all day deliberating things like this. Um, I think for me, um, having penises for thumbs, I might get into, it might be frowned upon if I was to give my, my little girl a hug. You know what I mean? It's a bit. A bit Especially in the age, mate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I think if you had um, a, pe a thumb for a penis, it, it puts a whole new spin on the phrase when you give somebody a thumbs up. Uh, but I think I'd rather that than have penises for thumbs. That could cause all manner of problems. It depends who you're giving the thumbs up to, though. Don't true, I suppose. true, yeah, yeah. Be careful with that. Yeah. I think I'd prefer penises for thumbs. Any yeah. reason? Well, shaking hands would be a lot more fun, wouldn't it? True, true. Yeah. Depends who you shaking hands with again, though, doesn't it? It does, yes. <laughs> yes. So you're not allowed to do that at the moment, anyway. That's true. So yeah. you'd be all right. So it's not really making any difference to me at the moment for the next few weeks, does so, it? So, uh, yeah. Penis, um, a thumb for a penis, I think, for me. And uh, penis for a thumb <laughs> for me, please. Right, um, we've got one from Katie Richards. Uh, oh, yes, Katie saying, Richards. Uh, always found pest control was rather manly. Are you single? Well, me personally, I'm not single, but Chris? Um, I'm very single. Um, I've been for quite a while now. Don't know whether I like it that way or not now. It's getting like the norm. He, was even, he even went on Take Me Out many years ago and came out of that still single as well because he got a blackout <laughs> very quickly. You can find that on the internet if you really look hard. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to stay single because we've got our TV thing, our TV debut coming out in June, I believe, the start of June. So hopefully I shall be hot property after that. So, uh, you say so. But Katie, I've had a quick look at your profile, and if she wants to message me, feel free. You know? <laughs> Don't be shy. Don't be shy, Katie. <laughs> Anytime you want to have a little chat, I'm here for you, even if it's about pests. Right. Okay. Moving on. Uh, we've got Andrew Mosley. What happened to two meters apart? Fair question. Fair question, Chris. Uh, well, the problem with the two metres apart thing is some the work that we are still doing at the moment is for people's health and safety and things like that. Public safety, public health issues public, and public stuff health, like that. Is that the words I was looking yeah, for? Yeah. yeah. Um, and a lot of those jobs, when it's drain surveys and things like that, stop rats getting in your kitchen, they're actually two man jobs. So, and if you can find a manhole that's big enough to be two metres apart, then we'd stay two metres apart. But being as that day, we'd been in a manhole together. Um, that sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was our special thumbs and our penis thumbs. Um, I mean, we spend you know our days at work together sat in a, in a truck literally next to each other. And to be honest, he's the only other person I see other than my family. And I'm definitely the only other person he's seen for the last <laughs> week and a half. I just, like see Mark, I just see uh, Mark and the dog. That's all I so, see. So, uh, yeah, we can't really do it with our work. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's that one. Um, what are we up to now? We've got uh, Julie Ann. Julie Ann Smith says, "What do you do in your spare time apart from surveys?" Uh, well, me personally, at the moment, I'm doing lots and lots and lots of Lego. It's pretty much my whole <laughs> life at the moment. Um, Which is yeah. difficult with them penis thumbs, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's me, Lego, Chris. Me, I've I'm becoming completely domesticated because I can't go out now. Um, what do I do? Business stuff, uh, self improvement work, bit of yoga. I have fallen off the yoga wagon a little bit just recently. Bit of decorating's on the cards. We've actually finished this room, as you can see. Um, and that's about it. That's about my life at the moment. <laughs> uh, okay, um, who have we got now? You've got um, Gamer Dan, Gamer Dan from YouTube. Hello, Dan. Daniel. All right, Daniel. Um, he's asked us, what did he ask? Uh, were, there, were there any people that didn't want us near them while we were at work uh, over the last few weeks? Um, not really, because we just tend to wear gloves and masks for quite a lot of the work we do. Um, yeah, when you've got cockroaches running around your kitchen, people tend to not to be so worried about coronavirus. Um, but we haven't had any close contact work with people for a good couple of weeks now. Most of the jobs we have had is uh, mole jobs and stuff, so you don't really see anybody, to be honest with you. 
And a lot of the time we've always got the PPE anyway. Yeah, yeah. so we are quite so, protected. And we are getting better at that, especially just lately. We used to be terrible at wearing gloves and things, but it's been drummed into us quite yeah. a lot just lately. <laughs> yeah, we get, we're getting good. We're so getting I think good. it'll be in there now for, going forward. Um, then how should we go? Andrew West. Oh, oh Andrew. Andy West. Andy West has had quite a lot of time on his hands by the looks I of think things. He has. Perhaps he's got penis thumbs. He's sent us quite a few questions. Well, a hell of a lot of questions. So we're just going to pick out one of them. What yeah. about the one about the movie? If somebody made a movie of your life, Kristen Hems. Would it be a <laughs> drama, a comedy, an action film, or science fiction? I said personally it'd be a Shakespearean tragedy. Uh, comedy uh, tragedy, <laughs> sure. Comedy tragedy. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I think like a comedy tragedy kind of theme would go. Well, somebody is making a, a, a has made a documentary of our lives coming out as he says in June. So yes, yes. Keep your eyes out for that, Andy. You'll see us on the TV. You can have all the time on your hands then, and you can watch me. <laughs> and if we're still in lockdown by June, you've got nothing, no, no choice but to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> no, I don't still want to be locked down in that's June. That's true. Then. But look at the advertising <laughs> we'll get for free. Yeah. You yeah. know, so it's uh, swings and roundabouts. We just need to be released into the public about mid-June, I think. Released. I can't remember how long it's running for. 20 episodes, doesn't it? Something like that. Apparently. So 20 episodes you'll be able to see us on. Isn't that fun for everyone? Um, that's about it for today. So... Yeah, any more questions? Any more questions, put them in the comments below or check in on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, Pest Interceptors. Um, yeah, and we'll come back and answer yeah, some more questions Yeah, get on our YouTube tomorrow. channel. There's loads of stuff on the YouTube channel. If you want to learn how to set a mole trap, it's all there. Yeah, yeah. Fun stuff. And it might be nice to get some actual pest questions as well. Yeah. Uh, so if you haven't got any pest questions, let us know. Or any crazy questions, we're, we'll answer those as well. So send them in, like Mark says. Down there. Down there. Right. Yeah. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. Au revoir. Thank you.